Hey everybody, what's going on? Ed here. Uh, I'm just going to bring you a quick little tutorial on how to create sprite fonts. Um, I'm using Photoshop CS2. Um, last I checked it was free on the Adobe website um, and it works great for this process. Um, so this is the way I make all my sprite fonts for my games. Um, I'm just going to show you uh, by creating um, one for numbers for a score. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a new um, image uh, and I'm going to make my sprites uh, or my font 64 pixels by 64 pixels. Okay, um, you can do 128, you can do 256, however you want to do it that will match well for your game. So the height is going to be uh, 64 and my width is going to be 640. I have 0 through 9, which will be 10 characters, 10 times 64, 640. Now you can also, um, if you prefer to separate this into, you know, uh, instead of having all the numbers straight across, you want to stack it so it's, you know, five numbers on top, five numbers on bottom. You can do that too. You can do, you would do 128. Actually, let's just do that. 128 by 320. Okay. So we'll make it... Uh, two numbers high, five numbers across. All right. So let's maximize that a little bit. And then we're going to create another new one that is 64 by 64. This is going to be our base uh, that we use to create our, our sprite. OK. So the first thing I'm going to do is on uh, my layer, make sure you have a transparent layer. I'm going to go ahead and color my background. Something uh, that's a very odd color that you're not going to use in your game. Uh, in my sense, it'll be pink. All right, so I'm going to make that pink. And then what I'm going to do is just take, just leave a little border of the pink. So using my, mar my marquee tool, I'm just going to uh, highlight that and then hit delete on the keyboard. All right, so I have a nice little border there. And then a control D to deselect. Okay, and now I'm going to create a new layer. And on this layer, I'm going to create my text. Um, let's see what size 18 looks like for my zero. Um, yeah, that'll be good. And, of course, if you want to change this color, uh, you would change it over here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and center this in my frame here. And I'm actually going to use a graphic style. You can get a ton of these for free online uh, that work with Photoshop and can give you some really cool effects. Um, so for my game, I need to make one um, that looks similar to that. Uh, yeah, we'll go with the red there. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control-A to highlight everything. And I'm going to hit Control-Shift-C to copy all layers. And then click on my other image up here and just do a Control-V. All right. And Photoshop will automatically snap it into the corner. So we'll just snap it right there. All right, and then I'm going to go back down to my text image and double click on the the T over here, and then I'm just going to put in a one. All right, and then I'm going to do a Control C, Control Shift C to highlight everything, and then snap it right in here. All right, and I'm going to continue this process for all the digits. All right, and it's Obviously, it's a little bit of a longer process if you're doing the, the alphabet. Uh, but once you start getting the hang of it, it doesn't take too much time. All right. I got my four. Oops. All right, five. Double click the S, six. Click, control shift C, control V. Down here, double click, 7, control shift C, control V, 8, click, control shift C, control V, double click, 9, click, control shift C, control V. All right, so now up here, uh, we have our, our sprite sheet, or our font sheet. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to highlight all of these layers and I'm going to say merge layers okay and I'm going to highlight my one layer go up here to select color range and I'm going to select the pink all right I'm going to say okay I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard 
I'm going to hit Control D to deselect, and there's my sprite font. So I'm going to save for web as a ping. Call this uh, timer font. And then I'll go into construct. I'm going to pull in my timer font. Okay. There we go. I have my character width and character height set at 64 pixels. Um, I have my character set. Okay. You can test it out like that. 120. And there you go. You got a fancy looking sprite font in your game. Alright, I hope that helps.